Good afternoon guys and welcome to Jicuela. We are actually roaming the streets right now and we are going to be going to the market to see what we can find. What we're passing right now is the bus station here and somewhere a little bit further up is where we're going to be able to find the main markets. All right, we got to look for a spot guys. Actually, probably the first thing on my mind to purchase right now is a new pair of sunglasses. I've actually broken both pairs of mine since I've been to in Sri Lanka. The first one, I had a massive beehive at a place that I was staying at. Like, I didn't know it uh, was like, it just moved its hive right on the night of the full moon. I learned a whole bunch about bees that night. But basically on full moons, bees will actually move their nest every full moon. And so they found it at our new hotel. And we opened the elevator and there was like a hundred bees in there. So I took off running, my glasses came off and I stepped on them while I was running full speed ahead. So that was a bit of a bummer because I really liked those sunglasses. Then the next pair, like four days later, I was in the ocean in Waligama and it literally was swept away by the ocean, guys. So I think if we cross over here, that's where we're gonna have the most luck in terms of finding sunglasses. Actually, Dream Lovers right there seems like it might be the spot. We've just got to figure out how we're gonna cross this super busy street right now. For Dick Wella being a small little surf town, it's honestly popping off right now. Stuff going on in every direction. You got big buses, you got tuk-tuks, and you've got uh, motorcycles, bicycles, a little bit of everything right now that are going there. Oh, and there we go. Bike almost hit me. And so we're gonna be going right into here. I think that's where we've got some sunglasses. And it's called Designs World. So let's see what we've got going on here for uh, sunglasses. All right. And what do we got going on here? I want something similar, like a similar type of style. And that'll do the trick. But I'm not sure if we're gonna even have the similar type of style. To be honest, I don't know if we're gonna find what we need, but might get something that's just gonna hold me off for a bit. Let's try this out. Oh, how does that look, guys? Oh, I look like I'm meant to live on the beach, that's for sure. What about one of these over here? Some sort of like, uh, something like this. This is some sort of like biker goggles, so. They look kind of funny. Not sure that these are gonna fit my big dome. Oh, whoa. I look like I'm in the Matrix now. <laughs> these are actually kind of funny. And what else do we got over here? We got some uh, fake Ray-Bans. These are similar to my old pair, but I'm not sure that those are gonna do the trick. All right, these are uh, kind of a vibe look. Let's try them out. Let's see what those look like. Oh, honestly, they might have to do. They might have to do. All depends on what the price is on these. 1,195 and no price on these ones. I guess we'll go with one pair, guys, to start out. Okay, uh, thousand. Stuti Machan, see you. As you can see guys, these are just a holding pair. The way those are framed, I didn't even notice it until I walked out, but it's already done, it's paid for. The uh, frames aren't even lined up with the glasses. But hey, you know, you can't fight fate. I guess you're supposed to, uh... ah, there we go. We got, we got, oh, we lost the tag. We're not littering, never. All right, guys, let's test on. Oh, yeah, let's go, baby. Oh, we are back in business. Uh-huh. Uh, those are pretty nice, aren't they? Got people laughing on the street. I guess I probably would be, too, if I saw someone just start screaming when he put on his glasses. We are feeling great, guys. Ah, I can actually see again. I always wear sunglasses when I'm outside. So, to be honest, like, when I've been walking around, it's been so uncomfortable. I think my eyes just simply aren't used to, like, always facing the sun like this. And so... Now that we've got a little shade covering, we are back, baby. Let's go. We're gonna cross this road and, oh, we have made it. Three, two, one, boom. Let's see if we can find anything down here. We're gonna do a little bit of a market hunt over here. I saw a couple places to get some clothes down this way. So it looks like there's quite a few. I would say probably the further you are from the main street, the more local of the prices you're gonna get. Can't say that about the laundrymen. Machan, komada. Komada! Oh, we got a cross here. Whoa! What's going on, Machan? Hi. Hello. Hello. All right. He's shy. He's shy. He's shy. No problem. No problem. It's all right. Guys, it looks like we're coming across the competitor grocery store, Jayanda Super. Looks like another large supermarket around here. I'm going to see if we can locate ourselves a cricket jersey, but 
Let's put it this way. I learned the last time when you ask a random local on the street in this area, you never know if they're gonna make an extra buck off you because that happened in my last video if you guys saw that one. That made a nice chunk of change on that laundry. Subo Dawasak. And to you too. We're doing some serious walking into the streets here. Seems like this market stretches quite far back, guys. Seems like there's a lot of different things. We've even got uh, haircuts over there. A lot of jewelers on this street. Hello, Machan. Komada. Perfect, perfect. Blending in with the locals. So far, guys, no sign of any other cricket jersey shops. But I must say, like, generally my first impressions here, it's it's like a very busy place. When I heard from some friends about like what Dickwella was like, I imagine like a very low-key beach town, but it's actually like really popping at all moments. Like you gotta watch where you're walking. There's always a tuk-tuk or a motorbike coming behind you or from some direction. And I haven't gone to the beach yet. We probably will maybe later in this video head down there for sunset. There's a cool internet cafe that I want to check out and bring you guys with me just in case any of you guys are digital nomads and you need fast internet when you're down here in Dickwella. But generally speaking, people seem uh, quite friendly and easy to talk to a lot. Most people I feel like, I feel like not most, but like a, a lot of people speak English or at least someone's always close enough to you that does speak English from my experience so far in terms of like getting directions on where to go and figuring out some recommendations. Just gotta be careful who you trust as I'll say probably three or four more times in this video because I just freshly got scammed. But well, that's the reality. Komada! Andai! Perfect. All right, nice people over there, guys. Now almost back to where we just backtracked to, guys. I walked further down this block, but it just led to more like plumbing and hardware type stuff when I thought maybe I would get lucky and find a jersey there. Thinking about getting a jersey just because uh, the boys got a jersey, so if we all meet up again, we can all wear our cricket jerseys. Even though I pretty much don't know that much about the sport. But uh, hey, you know, you can only learn by starting today. Let's see what they've got going on over here. Subo Dawasak Machan. How are you? I'm fine, Oh, very good. Oh, all right. So what do we got here? Good prices? Oh, we've got some nice stuff. What are the uh, price ranges generally on this? Uh, it's dry fit is Vietnam, 1,100. 1,100, oh, very nice. All right, so these oh, are... Sri Lanka, Vietnam. Oh, Sri Lankan, yeah. Oh, so they're real then? Vietnam, Vietnam. They're real then? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Similar then. Perfect. And we got a, a little palm tree here, that's kind of nice. It's a nine, 950. 950, yeah? yeah. Guys, I'm thinking... Uh, it's, that looks pretty nice, but I'm not sure if that one's going to fit me. A palm tree, though. You can never go wrong walking around as a palm tree. How much for this one? 950. 950, all right. I think we'll definitely go with that. It's a good option. And we'll probably... We probably want to get a dry fit to add in there, too. Gray up there. You can't go wrong with a gray. Gray always shows when you're sweating. I'll for sure be sweating walking down to the beach. So let's go with the gray, then. That looks quite nice. Dry fit, extra large. Those must be uh, Asian sizes, because this doesn't look like an extra large. Or maybe I've just had too many biryanis, one of the two. Perfect, Machan. So total here is 2,000? The size is okay. Uh, perfect size, yep. Uh, change there, Machan? Thank you. Yeah, World Nomac. I can type it in for you. Okay, guys, this is nice. We're picking up a new subscriber, and he's getting a sale, so it's a win-win for both of us. And there is me, Machan. Oh, you're subscribed? Yeah. Ah, be Stuti. Can, bro, <laughs> Thank you, Machan. All right, perfect. <laughs> Our man here is already subscribed. What was your name, by the way? Sorry? What was your name? My name is Asander. Asander? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Asander. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, this is great. So, that, yeah, that means you're already subscribed with bell notifications on. Yeah. Ah, stuti, stuti. Big fat. I, I knew this was the right shop to enter, guys. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, stuti Machan. Oh, yeah, guys. Proud owner of two new shirts, especially because I just dropped uh, my stuff off at the laundry and we're all set. Would you say I paid too much? To do a one load of laundry for three thousand five hundred, really? uh, is three thousand five hundred okay. rupees yeah. too expensive for one load of laundry? So ten t-shirts, five trousers, is that expensive? Yeah. Yeah, very expensive. Oh, guys, we got scammed, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. It happens. We learned from our mistakes. Guys, we've been hooked up. Stuti, my friend. Okay. Thank you very bye much. Bye. It was great bye. to meet you. Okay. Take care. Bye. bye. Oh, 
and we're locked in. There we go, pulling up. Getting the uh, flip flops back on here, guys, and we're back in business there. All right, I'd say it's a pretty successful uh, market hunt there. Try and say something. Oh, we got Sri Lanka's craziest bus. And look at how close that is. Wow, you gotta be a good driver. Hello, Machan. Subatawa Sak. Komada. Yeah, very good. So now we're walking back into town anyways. I think I'm gonna go and grab my laptop. We can take it over to a spot over here on the beach. I'm being told Dickwell is a great town for digital nomads. The Wi-Fi here is supposed to be pretty fast. So that's a good sign because I've got lots of videos to upload for you guys to watch here. And it's gonna be just in time. We're gonna cross this here safely. Oh, here we go, and we have made it. Subo Dawasak. And we're crossing over this way. We've got to get over. Hello, Machan! Oh, there we go. We've got a proper shout out there. All right, love when the locals interact with the uh, camera there. Keeps things exciting, keep things, keep things interesting. Oh, there's the white birds from the safari. They look more like, uh, they look like they're trained to be around humans. I mean, look at how close I'm getting to these guys. Hello, little Machans. Little Machans, hello. Whoa, they're fighting each other. I think it's, oh, oh, they're feeding them fish. They have all arrived. Whoa, the sardine man, he's tossing. Whoa, fish for everyone. Everyone's getting a little chow snack. That is, that is great stuff. Stuti Machan, Stuti. See, you just never know what you're gonna walk into. I was wondering why those white birds were so friendly, but it's because they know that guy is the feed bag. He's the one you go to if you wanna get some chow, some dinner chow and enjoy a little supper of some freshly caught fish from the local fishermen. So those birds are living the good life. Guys, it looks like they have some fresh coconuts over here. Hello, Machan. Uh, Komada, I'm Handai. Uh, perfect. Subo uh, Dawasak, my friends. Uh, fresh coconuts, how much? 100. 100, perfect. I'll take one, please. A cold one, yeah? Cold one, please. Oh, perfect. Guys, as you can see, he probably saw two of our men over here. It is a hot one here in Sri Lanka, probably 30, 35 degrees Celsius here. So to get a cold coconut, he's got him cold right there on the rocks here. And he's going to grab his dagger, and we're going to be getting going here. Oh, he's tossing it right over here on the side there. Oh, he's grabbing that thing with his foot, and we are slicing the first side. There we go. And it, oh, this one slices kind of nicely. And, oh, and it just squirted out everywhere. Wow. Sit. Wow. My place. Oh, we've got a little seat. Oh, perfect. Stuti. All right, guys, we've got a little uh, backyard dining spot right here, too. Right here. That looks fantastic. Ah, uh, uh, Stuti, my friend. Oh, we've got, we've even got a little hole. It just already pops right in there. You toss her in. Stuti. Oh, yeah, that is ice cold. Let's try that thing out. Let's try it out. Here we go. Ah, very nice, Machan. Bohoma Stuti. Whoa, guys, that is literally ice cold. Literally, after walking around this whole time, I say literally a lot. I never knew that until someone commented on my Instagram story yesterday and was like, bro, why do you say literally all the time? I was like, I literally don't. And then I was like, wait, I literally do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, back to what we're doing here. This coconut is so, so good. I had not even liked coconut before coming to Sri Lanka. I've had coconut enough times to say that I thought I properly tried it but I just never liked the taste. But I realized what I don't like is actually like the artificial flavor of what like, I guess stores make like coconut or like suppliers make like coconut flavored things that aren't actually like coconut flavored. Because when you taste this, it has a much different taste than like, uh, like a coconut samosa candy bar or something like that, you know? It's just much different. Oh yeah, that is nice. It always surprises me actually how much coconut juice. I mean, not always. I've only had two coconuts. This is the second one I've had. The first one I had was in Ella. There's a fair amount of coconut juice in there. And for 100 rupees, guys, that is 50 cents. Yeah, 50 cents. Because 200 rupees equals one dollar. Ah, another coconut done. Machan, very good coconut. Thank you very much. Tip for you, Stuti Machan. Bohoma Stuti. We'll see you guys. Goodbye. But now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and snap my fingers and then I'm gonna have my hat on because I'm gonna be heading over to the Internet Cafe, which apparently is the best one in Dickwella. Here we go. Oh, and well, bam. 
Chris got the head on, got the laptop. Now we're gonna head over to Verse Collective, guys, which is just right down here. We gotta figure out a way to get past Machang here. Oh, oh, this is a road you wanna be extra careful on. We have made it across successfully, guys, safe and sound. For a second, I wasn't sure we were gonna make it. Anyways, we got about a three minute walk from my hotel and then we are there. Guys, I smell like some sort of garlic, delicious, something, something. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it smells so good. Oh, it's amazing. Plus we're looking right into palm trees as the sun's going down. It does not get any better than this, I'll tell you that. Got more coconut stands, more fresh water here. So the nice part is when you're in Dickwell, you can stay hydrated the entire time. We've got just about two more minutes, 140 meters, and then we will be over at a place called Verse Collective. Oh, we've got a fast convertible tuk tuk coming along this way. We'll have to stop there for coffee later. Oh, looks like we've got a lot of places we've got to check out while we're in Dickwalla, guys. Oh, this looks like a nice spot. Oh, Crystal Resort. That's the one Luke was talking about. That looks like such a vibe. Right on the water. Oof. Maybe I'm gonna be changing my places. But there is the beach right here. Looks quite calm on this beach. Very nice though. Reverse Collective. Here is the spot. Oh, and there he is. We've got the man, the myth, the legend over there. Machan! Subo Dawasak! Oh, we've got a skate park here. All right, we might have to shred it up a little bit, guys. See that half pipe? You can go up and down it. How are we doing over here, bro? Man, it's great. Working hard. Yeah, all right. How many videos you filmed today? Uh, I think we're at three. Three? Three. Oh, yeah. It's a nice place, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a vibe here. It is hot, though, bro. So this is the uh, infamous spot, guys. Look at this. Beautiful views of the ocean right here. Plenty of space to spread out. And we're going to get ourselves a little coffee here. Coffee here. Oh, golden hour. Oh, yeah, golden hour. Perfect time, then, yeah? Hello, Machan. Komada. Can I please have a uh, lemon and mint iced tea? Oh, it's on me, bro. I gotta get internet too, anyways. Can I, can I get access to the internet? Okay. Uh, internet? We're working Wi Fi here, guys. It's a thousand for the day, so it's about five US. And pay for that, yeah. And to get the uh, iced tea, that's gonna run about $2.50. So it looks like we've got some food options here. May or may not try something later, but we really got some delicious looking cookies over here. Are these chocolate chip? Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, can we try one out, bro? I've eaten too many desserts today. Uh, I'll get one tomorrow. All right, all right, maybe I'll try one of these two then, please. I should have one cookie, yeah? Uh, yep. The best cookie. We're gonna get this one right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Take half, bro. That looks good, man. Yeah. Oh, it's warm. Oh, is it? Oh, you oh, just, just got uh, robbed there, bro. No, it's all... So, so what's the new one? They're fresh. Making, oh, uh, fresh. Oh, wow. So we, we came at the right yeah. time. Well, cheers, mate. Yeah, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Mm. Fresh out of the oven, so chewy. Oh. And you almost, you almost passed up on that, bro. Yeah, I oh. I would've been mm. missing out on life. Mm. That is G triple O D. Good, uh, good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I might get myself one of those actually. <laughs> Literally, bro. I'll get one later. Yeah, guys. So what a vibe here. We'll do, we'll run a little speed test here and see what the internet speed is for this Wi-Fi here at this cafe. But it's got such a nice vibe to it all the way around, especially going into golden hour. All right, guys. We're running the uh, handy dandy speed test here. So we're gonna see what we got. Oh my God, 95. Are we breaking 100? 102? Oh. Oh, it's a bit of a teaser. Went past 100 megabits per second. Now we're dropping down to something a little bit more believable. And it's going back up. 78, 79, and 81 megabits per second download. 81 meg download? Yeah, yeah. That's, that is fantastic, bro. That's the bro. fastest I've seen in Sri Lanka. Yeah, literally. The fastest in Sri Lanka for sure. And upload, it looks like we're going to be tabling out around 43 megabits per second that's faster that's, than australia that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, really faster than australia. that's just faster internet than australia man yeah i can't it's say crazy. it's faster than the u.s but uh yeah, it's it gives, definitely, it's, definitely it's, faster it's, than back home it's some of the fastest i've seen i mean that's super good guys you have that then you look right up sunset views i don't think it gets any better than that oh wait actually it does we've got iced teeth man <laughs> cheers. cheers oh that is nice that is very it's refreshing nice. It's got a nice little sour kick to it. Yeah, it's a bit bitter, but it's mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Wow, very nice. Very nice. All right, guys, we are going to cruise down by the water. 
It's actually my first sunset here in Dickwella and wow. Whew. That's literally all I can say right now is wow. We've got cotton candy skies. It's a little exposed for you guys. As you can see, they're a little overexposed. But just look at this. Unbelievable. It's very peaceful here. I didn't shoot a video when I was in the place called Marissa. That is another beach town, maybe 10 minutes tube tube ride away from here. But here it's much calmer. Not as not as like uh, much commotion. They have a, a little restaurant stretching over there. Some places to hang out, get some coconuts. Yeah, it's very much more like low key beach town style here versus like more mainstream Marissa. I know I kind of just made that comparison. As I kind of walk out here, just like looking out at everything, there isn't as much built up. Obviously you have the Crystal Resort Dickwella there, which is, you know, quite fancy. But then you look around, around here and there's not as much built up along the coast. And going down here, we've got some serious waves coming. We got a good boy, good boy, good boy. Full speed, oh, he's taking on the other one. Well, it's playtime at sunset. And so, oh, we've got the, out there too, we even have some of the fishermen that are out there catching a little evening catch there right along there so that's that's quite nice and then going all the way along the coast there it looks like we have some tiki huts maybe we're gonna check those out we shall see but let me tell you this absolutely stunning let's see how the water feels oh oh that's gonna be nice to cool down in we'll be spending the next uh four nights here and let me tell you this i am very very excited for that because as you just look along the coast you can just see a beautiful silhouette all along it pure bliss guys pure happiness the place where you can be in the zen i'm almost at a loss for words at this point but just listen to these waves crashing for a minute oh yeah that is the uh coastline for you guys oh and we now have a very nice breeze that's just taken care of. I'd say that's nice guys. That is uh, a very good first impression here in Dikwela, Sri Lanka. I am impressed. I could see myself easily end up staying here for another, I don't know, could be a total of seven days probably. Especially because we have so much to explore along the coast and maybe even later get some freshly cooked chow here. Looks like they got the gas stove here. Subo, uh, Saudiavak. Subo Sandiavak? Subo Sandiavak, yeah? Subo Sandiavak. Yeah, yeah, Komada. Yeah, very good, yeah? Good. I'll come here later for food, yeah? Okay. Stuti. Bye. Oh, we got a little, oh, stairway. This is what I was looking for on the way up. Yeah, definitely got to visit some of these locals. They seem really, really kind. So we're going to head back over to Verse, though, guys. I paid five bucks for my internet usage, so. It's time to make the most out of it. Oh, it's so hard to walk away from this sunset though. Look at this, just absolutely golden. Like it's, guys, everything is like pink. There isn't, you're probably looking like, is something wrong with the GoPro? It's not, it's literally just like some heavenly type of sunset right now. That is truly something else, wow. Seems like Verse Collective is uh, starting to get a bit lit up here. You got your mood lighting going on. Even the half pipe's got its own light. Drop some candles around the tables. And we are back to base. Oh, bro, it's quite nice. Oh, shit. What's quite up? nice. Out there? Yeah, you gotta. Oh, eat. man. Yeah. That's yeah. the first time I'm looking out there. What? Oh, oh yeah, bro, you're missing out. Dude, the sky's been fire. Yeah, literally. Got like a I'm pinkish going out there. I'll be back. Tint. I'm busy working too. Yeah, much. yeah, yeah exactly, bro. You're missing out. That is beautiful. What on yeah. earth? Yeah. I'll be back in like five en minutes. Enjoy, bro. All right, guys, we decided to get a little. Uh, dinner time chow right over here so i got the uh, kung pao chicken for about 1600 that comes about to about eight us dollars as you can see that is looking delish we've got the chicken we've got some sort of sauce on top looks like peanuts pickles and some sort of spices built into there what do you got over there bro i got a tofu laksa you already know guys your boy had to get dessert oh oh and we've lost power we've got a All blackout right. we've got a blackout Whoa. Right. During the blackout, I'm going to give it a shot. Now, we've got a brownie over here. Oh, it's very firm from first impression, but we've got a brownie with ice cream. And brownie's actually my favorite dessert, so I'm very curious. Sounds like an Australian thing. Luke says the same thing. 
Oh, mm. signs of excitement. Mm. And the man has passed out. He's done. This is good. Mac, try yours. All right, let's get. Let's this give is it a unbelievable. Shot. See if it's actually that good. All right. It's really good. He's talking up. Let's get a proper scoop. Oh, that's. Yes. Yeah, cream's melted perfectly. A little thickness in that brownie. You gotta gotta make sure you got the perfect bite there. Let's try it out. Mm. I told you, huh? Mm. It is delicious. Oh, guys. Delicious is an understatement. The best part is it's so hot tonight and oh, we're back. Oh, and we're back in business. How good's the ice cream on a hot oh, night? Oh, it's perfect. All right, guys, and that is where we're gonna go ahead and end tonight's video. Delicious meal over there at Verse Collective. Got the job done, let's put it that way, in terms of getting a nice dessert and a nice burger. It was a unique meal for sure. I will say like being on the beach, you're gonna pay a little bit more like tourist prices like that chocolate brownie and ice cream. It was a thousand rupees, so that comes out to about five US dollars and the burger I think I mentioned to you guys it's about eight dollars so thirteen dollars plus the iced tea that I had earlier basically spent like fifteen dollars there plus the internet so about twenty bucks um, but in my opinion worth it you got a great co-working space incredible sunset uh, really nice staff delicious food so it's quite happy with it but my first impressions of Dickwell is that it is a super cool place I'm really excited to spend the next few days here and see what this place is all about. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you wanna see more videos both here in Sri Lanka and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.